Well, now you guys know what I picked for the top five movies of 2019, but now it's time to look at the other side of the coin and reflect back on what were some of the absolute worst films to come out that year. And I've got to warn you beforehand, you might want to look away from the screen because some of these movies were just really, really bad. Number five. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Now for this movie I've actually broken a rule I have for these top 5 lists and that's that they can only include movies that I've actually reviewed. But for this film I've made an exception just because of how bad I found out this movie was going to be. I'd been following all the leaks involving the story that were coming out in the lead up to release and they did not paint a pretty picture and I was less inclined to see it as I found out they were all 100% true. But on top of that, when I found out what the actual movie was like and how it presented the story, dear lord, breakneck pace, characters doing things that make no sense, the things from the leaks being 100% true and not to mention the entire plot of this bloody thing undermines the entire point of everything every single piece of Star Wars lore that came before it. More than anything, this film really does just showcase how badly run Lucasfilm is with Kathleen Kennedy at the helm, as well as how terribly Disney has handled Star Wars not only as a property but in regards to the lore after purging the entirety of the expanded universe. And more than anything, they really need to fire that woman, bring the expanded universe back and get focused once again on making quality entertainment with this IP, like they've done with The Mandalorian involving Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni. Number four. Us. In hindsight, it looks like I was a little quick in praising Jordan Peele as a new master of horror after he put out the phenomenal Get Out. This movie really was just an absolute letdown as a follow-up to that beautiful film. Everything that Get Out got right, this movie just got wrong in so many ways. When it tries to be scary, it's just hokey. When it's trying to be funny, it just comes off as bad. And it doesn't know what it's trying to be. Get Out had a very precise and to the point message, but Us? I have no idea idea what this movie was about. I don't know if it was about wealth inequality, racial segregation, or social injustice. It was just this weird hodgepodge of different messages and themes that all clashed together without actually focusing on any central point. The only saving grace for the film really was the dual performance from the lead actress, who really does deserve an award for her role in this thing. But that's the only saving grace in what really is just a forgettable piece of horror that does not paint a pretty picture for Candyman. Number three. Shanghai Fortress. As I said in my review of this movie, you really need to go to the foreign markets to check out the most unique of cinematic experiences, and Parasite was a great example of this, but this movie, this was the complete opposite. This was just China's attempt at doing Michael Bay's absolute worst. The story does a poor job of conveying the current state of the world and why the Earth is being invaded by an alien mothership. The action sequences in this are just a joke. The CGI, while well, it does look realistic, it never quite hits the mark. The aliens look more like cartoon characters and you just can't believe that they're real. And despite this supposedly being a sci-fi action blockbuster, it has a weird obsession with the romance between the lead character and his romantic interest. To the point where the film comes off more like a Chinese version of Sleepless in Seattle with a sci-fi setting than an actual action flick. More than anything, I was just left bored out of my mind while watching this and counting down the seconds till it was over. And if you find this on Netflix, like I did, for the love of all God, just pass it up and watch something that's actually worth your time and your subscription. Number two. Doom Annihilation. I just don't get why Universal Studios can't make a decent Doom movie. It's literally the easiest video game concept to adapt to film. Over there are evil demons. Over there is a big angry guy. He kills them, then goes to hell to kill more of them. How is that hard? How? Well, easily the worst aspect of this film is the fact that despite being more true to the source material, it's an even worse adaptation than the 2006 version with The Rock. The production values are an absolute joke. This movie got a piss poor budget that's led to some of the most fake blood and gore I've seen in any film, independent or studio produced. The acting is absolutely atrocious and the story is full of all sorts of fan service. The 
that honestly doesn't make the movie enjoyable, it just made me feel insulted to see how these pitiful excuses of demons killed people like BJ Blazkowicz for instance, or to see Dr. Petruga go from being this pulpy character into just someone who's bland and forgettable. And worse yet, there is no Doom Slayer, there is no Doom Guy, instead they decided to put this movie on the bandwagon of strong, independent, powerful women and give us Doom Chick instead, who's played by an actress with no charisma at all. I can't even say that it's scary either, its horror elements are absolutely terrible, and the only people who would find this movie to be scary would arguably be three or two year olds who haven't seen another horror film or any type of horror related media. Doom Annihilation is an atrocious abomination, and if you ever see a copy in a bargain bin, feel free to buy it and do a service to humanity and burn it. Now before we go to our number one spot, here are a few dishonorable mentions. We sell what you need. Unicorns? That was the only thing I ever wanted. So you're not from around here? It's hard to explain. <laughs> the 21st century is a very dangerous century. Number one. Charlie's Angels. It's funny, isn't it? The last movie I saw in 2019 was by far the absolute worst. Elizabeth Banks tried to make a film that would not only be empowering for women, but would also be the dark and gritty version of this franchise. And it is an abject failure of a film. I could not think of anything the film did right or could be considered a positive. Even Doom Annihilation at the very least had fan service, even if it was terrible. But this? It had nothing. Its script cared more about pushing empowerment than actually telling a convincing story with likeable characters. The action was bland and unoriginal and not to mention a few and far between. It was an action film that had almost no action and was more interested in just talking. Talking about things that very few people actually care about. And Christian Stewart, I don't know why, but for some reason people in Hollywood think that she's a grade A actress, that people just want to go out to see in droves, when in reality, she can't even close her bloody mouth all the way. What's more is that this is also a very misandrist film. A criticism I had for the Ghostbusters reboot that I didn't harp on because to me it was too little of a nitpick to really touch on is very present in this film throughout. All of the male characters are either incompetent, lazy, evil bastards, and the few that aren't any of those things are all submissive to the women. It is a film that clearly has an agenda against men, and despite the fact that Elizabeth Banks, the director and writer stated, it's not for men, was upset that men didn't go to see it. Congratulations Elizabeth Banks, you produced one of the worst films of 2019, if not the decade, you alienated an entire audience demographic and devalued an IP from the 70s, I hope it was worth it. <laughs>